Hey guys, it's Charles from Team Integrity YGO, and I wanted to make this video in reference to the fire that engulfed the top floor apartment buildings in the Claremont section of the Bronx. After all, it was my building. For reasons that are still currently unclear, there was a fire that started in the fifth floor apartment of my building. The fire was so intense that none of the smoke sensors even went off and it continued to spiral out of control. The fire was actually so intense that it engulfed the entire roof and even the fire scouts were just melting off. It became to such a degree that it became a four alarm fire and if you're curious what a four alarm fire is, I'll give you some information right here. And basically guys, it took over 400 firefighters just to get it under control. However, it was too late. Just for the simple fact that all the lower levels were engulfed in so much water damage that it became deemed uninhabitable. This all started on the fifth floor and I'm living on the fourth. So you guys could already imagine. And I've been living there for nine plus years. So it's my home and there's, it's like really unreplaceable regardless of even if I got a better one I have so much memories there that it's basically unreplaceable and there are over 20 families there so the fact that they're all homeless and including myself is crazy um, fortunately for me I'm homeless but not in the street now in case you guys don't already know I'm Christian and I have a strong belief in our Lord and Savior and if you guys aren't religious that's okay but please let me tell you my story. Now if you guys haven't checked out my last video a link to that will be down in the description below but basically I, it tells about the story about how I met my sister after 20 plus years only 3 weeks ago and it totally changed my life because I feel like God placed her in the right place at the right time because after she heard about this tragedy I was um, basically I texted her around 4 a.m. This entire catastrophe happened at like 3.30 a.m. I was outside from 3.30 all the way up to 9 when my pastor came and picked me up at a regular time and as soon as she came, she, as soon as I, she read my message about all these things that happened, she ran in her car, um, drove her car as fast as she could, went straight to the chief of the fire department and said, hey, <laughs> I need my medication upstairs, can I please get it? She doesn't even live there and she was willing to do that just for me. So as soon as the chief went upstairs, she's like, oh, you gotta go, you got a few minutes, go and get us whatever you need. So she got a black bar garbage bag from the kitchen and got as much stuff from my room as possible. She got my camera, she got my light, she got my clothes, she got some stuff from my mom. It was so amazing how much she was willing to do. You know, she only met me three weeks ago. That's not, she didn't stop there. As soon as all this happened, as soon as I came out of church, she was willing to open her home to me. And I'm with her right now, and I'm spending so much time with her, my brother-in-law, my niece and nephew. It's amazing. She's teaching me how to manage my health. She's teaching me how to become more independent. You know, God blessed me with a great mom that taught me all the basics in life. Never would have I imagined that he would have blessed me with a second mom. Now that Sunday afternoon where I went to church, I felt that the Holy Spirit gave me some wisdom and a quote that just never left my mind was live by faith and not by sight. And for those who are not religious, that basically means, you know, just take a good perspective and don't let all this negative stuff affect your perspective on things. For instance, I was able to see who really loves me, who really cared about me. For instance, uh, Joelle actually came into my apartment and was able to help me take as much stuff from the apartment as possible even though through the worst weather conditions where you're able to see your breath inside these apartments the floor was money was horrible even help went as far as taking it all to storage and even had um taking me and my mom out for dinner like after all this tragedy where we just needed some like relief some like positivity he was there for me not only him but also my church my godfather had taken all of my electronics while my church is also um talking to some top officials trying to see trying to get me first in line to get in a new apartment which which normally would take six 
six months to two years to process where we could probably get it in like less than a month which I feel is a miracle now as you guys can see life took some good shots at me but I'm not gonna let these negative experiences define me I feel that you shouldn't let your struggles uh, become your identity but let your reaction to those experiences really show who you are now <laughs> Guys, I would just like to thank you so much for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next video.